Let us start your journey in learning more about our home planet, Earth. The goal is to recognize the uniqueness of the Earth being the only planet in the solar system with properties necessary to support life. Earth is also called as the blue marble because of it looks like a blue globe encircled by swirling white clouds as seen from the outer space. As of today, Earth is the only planet in the solar system that is habitable or where living things can exist. But the question is, what makes Earth unique among other planets? And what are the factors to consider a habitable planet? Scientists coined the term Goldilocks zone, habitable or life zone, for the regions in the space where a planet is just in the right distance from its home star, so that its surface is neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist on a planet. Remember that when a planet is closer to the sun, temperature increases and life would not be possible. On the other hand, if the planet are too distant from the star, temperature decreases and makes life impossible. Luckily, Earth lies on the Goldilocks zone. Earth is the third planet from the sun and the fifth largest planet in the solar system. Inner planets on our solar system including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are called as the terrestrial planets that has a rocky surfaces and the atmosphere is a gaseous mixture of carbon dioxide and nitrogen gases. Outer planets including Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are called Jovian planets because of its size and gas is what they are mostly made of. The gas of the gas giants are, are mostly made up of hydrogen with some helium and traces gases and ices. What are the factors that makes the planet habitable? The right amount of the following factors makes the planet habitable like Earth. Number one, we have water. The availability of liquid water is the most important factor that makes a planet habitable because water is a very effective polar molecule and hence an excellent solvent and facilitator for the complex chemistry of life. Next is temperatures. High temperatures quickly evaporate water, be at a distance from the star that results in its achieving a suitable temperature so its surface water is liquid and not frozen. The third is the atmosphere. Some heat are absorbed to make our planet warm, and some heat were trapped to prevent entry on Earth. This process is called greenhouse effect. The atmosphere shields the surface from harmful radiation and provides chemicals needed for life such as nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Earth's atmosphere comprises 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 0.9 carbon dioxide, water vapor, argon, and other gases. These gases are necessary to support life for plant and animal use. The fourth is energy. Organisms use light or chemical energy to run their life processes. The sun is the source of all energy, heat, and light. All plants use sunlight to make food in the form of sugars in a process called photosynthesis. They store the food in their leaves and the energy flows to other animals that eat the leaves. Next, we have the nutrients. With the right amount of energy received from the sun and from the food we eat, all living organisms need nutrients for proper functioning and growth. The last factor that makes the planet habitable is the presence of magnetic field. The magnetic field of Earth is caused by currents of electricity that flow in the molten rock. Earth's inner core are made up of radioactive elements such as uranium, plutonium that once decay, they release enormous amount of energy necessary to form a magnetic field. A planet requires a rapidly rotating magnetic field to protect it from solar players 
from the nearby stars and from harmful radiation. This leads to a phenomenon Aurora Borealis, the green northern lights, and Aurora Australis, the green southern lights. Now you know why Earth is unique to other planets on our solar system. Check out for the next video as we discuss the four different spheres of the planet Earth working together to form a complex whole called Earth system.